Stunner MR Sports. Just giving you guys an update on the X Pro. All right, guys, I had a video previously talking about me upgrading from the stock uh, speedometer to this uh, custom digital speedometer. And as you can see, all the modifications I had to do to this thing, I had to put a bracket in there, homemade bracket, just to get it to fit in here because the bracket from the um, uh, the original speedometer doesn't fit this one. And they don't send this one with a bracket that will fit this back because it's, this, partic this speedometer is supposed to be, quote, unquote, a universal speedometer right and as you can see it, it makes all the cool colors and hey, let me see it makes all the cool colors and all that and it does the flashing uh, the problem is everything is not functioning the way it should as you have seen from the beginning of the video right so what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to go back to the original, uh, I guess, analog speedometer. I'm going to get the other digital speedometer that's made specific, specifically for this bike. Which is what most uh, you guys that own one of these things have on there. But I was trying to be different. And I thought this one was cool. It was only like 50 bucks, but... It's just too long of a process trying to program it, trying to get all the functions to work. And it's just not even really worth it. Yeah, so sometimes you just got to throw in the towel. And I end up having to buy this, like, uh, speedometer here. Because this is what, if you see here, I got everything marked. And this is the main cable coming from this speedometer here. That from the one that I ordered here. And it's running down here. And it doesn't connect, obviously, to the original harness here. So there's there's no connection for the, the gears here from this speedometer, the universal one, to match anything for mine so it would not work so i just say i bought this uh here so maybe i could use this here and it, it could display my gears as you see there's an eight right there and this one doesn't work with it which i mean this is my uh i'm supposed to connect this to the ignition uh wiring here and it's supposed to work but you know, at this point, I'm like, I'm throwing in the towel, and I'm just going to get the one everyone else got. Because if you see here, I even, I had to go through here and, you know, recheck all the wiring and find out what was what. And I determined this was the, this was for the gears here. So I marked it gears. And I decided this was the speed sensor here, which down here, I had to manufacture my own thing there for, for it to connect to the bike so it can detect the speed but of course if the gears the digital gear uh, harness thing is not working it's it, it, you know it's not it's not going to do anything for me but of course here let me turn this off of course here is the main wiring right here and of course I had to go through here and create my own wires and reroute them to match the correct one because of course they're not going to be color coded so i had to buy a whole thing of uh you know which i will probably show you an example of what i had to do but i made sure i mark made my little marks so i know that the colors matched up if you see the red with the red the blue with the blue it's kind of close on you guys and I just marked it all. And of course, you see me. And it says main wire. And I had to connect this back up here. And make and make those lines there so I know which is which. 
of course you got the the yellow wire has to chase the yellow and the green with the green all this color matching stuff and if it didn't match the colors i just had to make sure that same wire from here ran all the way back through here so they would all recognize their own individual functions and it's just been a mess here's my lights harness i had to mark that of course my lights work but for some reason as you saw uh, something is shorting out my turn signals. So they, if you seen from the video, they were fully lighting up. Just part of it was lighting. And of course, these are like just the daytime running turn signal bulbs, which are supposed to be blue. They're not working at all because something is absorbing their power that's supposed to go there. So something's not grounded or something's not, uh, it's not, Everything is not receiving adequate power. And let's see, this one is the ignition wiring. And it's, it's all correct. This is one for the key. All these work. My, sun, my turn signals. You know, I got my thing grounded. I got the turn signal where it's supposed to be. I got the blinker where it's supposed to be. But something is shorting and something is not grounding and something is taking more power than the other. And of course you saw all the blinking going on. And I had to trace all the wiring here. And I went and took all this apart and just tested everything and find out where the short was. And it turns out it's not it's not necessarily just a short, it's just the wiring is just crappy. So I'm just gonna end up uh, getting that other uh, digital uh, speedometer and putting it on there. It's only like 36 bucks on eBay or Amazon. And I get that and hook that up. And that's really a plug and play. But again, I was just trying to be different. You guys, nothing wrong with that. But it just didn't work out. You know, it just comes on and it's telling me I don't have a it telling or I guess it's telling me you know flashing it's fl it, I have a full tank all right this thing is full to the to the rim you can see the water there now the gas there so it's full but it's showing that the sort of showing it's full but it's showing that it, the gas light is blinking and the whole thing is just you know this is not even really worth it anymore I got to go back in here and make another bracket or try to reuse the old bracket that I really chopped up. But this uh, speed dominant here, this digital one, looks cool, but it's just not going to work. So that's where I'm at, guys. And it's like holding me up. You know. All this wiring mess here. I mean, I can drive the bike and all, but I don't want to be riding in something. I hit a bump and something end up shorting out. And I'm on the side of the road trying to figure out what the hell is going on. So, you know, it's just not even really worth it anymore. If you can see the Superhawk over there, don't worry, I still got a video coming for that. All right. I got to get in there and figure out what's going on with those carburetors, clean them out, and that'll be the next project. Of course, you see the light is doing what it wants to do, but as soon as I... As soon as I tap on there, see how there's, there's some janky stuff going on there. Anyway, guys, just to give you guys an update where I'm at. Well, like, share, subscribe.